Bonjour, so we are back in Sunset Valley for yet another renovation. So this time I'm going to do this one, which is a residential lot, but I'm planning on having it as a community lot. Hopefully it's going to work, we'll see. It, it looks big, so I'm thinking it should be feasible. Uh, let's check it out first in Edit Town. Yeah, old Tudor. Oh, okay. Three bedrooms, two and a half bathroom. The the name was ringing a bell, but I'm I think it's just because I've seen it elsewhere or maybe in game, because I've never done it before. So it's thirty by forty. This traditional Tudor style home boosts roomy, well appointed rooms. A kitchen that is a chef's delight, a separate two car garage, and a third story attic. It's the kind of house to which the most tasteful seem aspire. Okay, well, the, the description is very promising for what I have in mind for it. So I'd like it to be an inn, but more like. Mm, when I'm going to have so a community lot, but I'm going to go for base camp more than resort. Where is it? Resort here. Um, mostly because a resort you need to have special features there that I don't want to add. Seeing it from there, I don't see, for instance, a swimming pool. I don't want to add one. Maybe there is one inside. It's not said on, on in the description, so I don't think so. So I'm not expert on two-door style, but is it really two-door? It looks more like a cabin to me. Okay, maybe that bit here <laughs> looks two-door style. Oh, the, the windows. The windows are the right style. Okay, the... the the porch deck from entryway here does look like a community lot, so perfect for what I have in mind there. Ooh, that's... Okay, that's very hotel-like, or spa. It looks like a spa here, <laughs> that corner over there. Ooh, that's the kitchen. Ooh, that's so cool. Okay, I'm getting ahead too, too much ahead, so <laughs> let's... Focus on the exterior first. Lots of uh, tiny windows there, and big ones there. So there is living room corner. I don't, I'm not spotting any swimming pool, so I'm really going to go um, base camp, I think. So I'm going to have to keep it two car, a two car garage, not bigger. Ooh, there is sort of a trail there. Okay, that's too bad. It's it's in the description that it's a two door because cabin like. Is there a cabin, a mix of cabin, two-door style? I don't know. <laughs> so, I'm guessing I'm going to go with that texture, most likely. Okay, let's go inside. Let's visit. So, that's the entryway. Oh, for once, it doesn't look like a community lot, that entryway here. Just dir directly the staircase. So, I might, m I might move this one elsewhere so that there is more of a hallway. And let's go left. Okay, the living room, spot it from outside. Ooh, I like the bookcases framing the, the fireplace. Very cozy corner there. Ooh, what's that corridor leading to? Oh, is it going to be? It is going to be a bathroom, of course. <laughs> it was either that or the kitchen, but, oh, okay, leading to the kitchen. I really, really, really like that. That is so cool. So maybe we can do something with half of it is in the kitchen and the other half is sort of a eating corner. That was a dining room. I'm all over the place. That tour is not going. It's not going well. <laughs> I'm going back and forth. Okay, the hallway there. I'm trying to get lost. Uh oh. Okay, same pattern there, there, and there. Hmm very autumn-like and it's also there on those tools okay and the, the kitchen is it is very original and there is that ceiling area behind that wall 
Is that is that it for that floor? Yeah, that's it for that floor. I'm thinking I'm going to have maybe an L-shaped uh, kitchen and have it like that and that and open that area. See so that there is a whole eating area over there. That seating area is going to be open to the public, to the tourists or to the people visiting. We'll see where I'm going to have the door to the bathroom. So maybe the bathroom is going to stay there, but the staircase is going to move, most likely. Okay, let's get upstairs. How many be bedrooms? Like three? This is a big house. Only three bedrooms. So I expect they're going to be huge. So this is going to be a bedroom because I think I spotted, I spotted a bed from the window. So I'm going to guess a bathroom here. No, bedroom. Okay. It's not a big one. Well, it's big, but not huge. Oh, talking too quick. Uh, <laughs> it's L shaped. Okay. So that might. This can be divided into. Or maybe an ensuite bathroom. There is a bathroom there. Maybe it's a shared bathroom. So the bathroom is there. And then there is another bedroom. Okay. I don't get that texture there. <laughs> Why? Why that? That one with cracks everywhere, <laughs> like very blue and yellow and cow print. Oh, that's too bad. You could have had a view, but no. There is that tall roof there, <laughs> and I can see the <laughs> the lighthouse. It's just behind it. Ooh, there's an. Oh no, it's not a nook. Okay, access to the the attic, I suppose. There is no other door, so I suppose. There is going to be an ensuite bathroom for that bedroom. Oh my, oh my. That's the huge bedroom. Whoa, okay. Let's do that. Have at least two there. Back to the staircase. Let's check the, the attic. Or is it going to be the attic? Yes, it's an attic. How cool. Very narrow. Uh, so maybe here we can have... Oh, it's a very cool attic. They, they do have a view. <laughs> Just, you know, just need to go, just here, here, you have a view. Yeah, I'm thinking of having the staff rooms in the attic, maybe. Let's go to the overviews. So we did, we sort of did this floor. Let's see this one. So again, I'm going to try and keep the footprint the same. Mm, maybe I'm going to do like a, a deck area over there so that they can go outside and those two uh, entryways are linked. So then this, mm -hmm. I'm not going to move it there. I might move it here so that there is a real entryway with a, a front desk, you know? And that staircase, maybe on the other side, like flip it and have it, have a, a discrete door there maybe? Oh yeah, I wanted to check the view from there. So. Yeah, let's let's finish with the overview and that's the attic. That can be like extra rooms there from the <laughs> okay. That's too bad. That's not really a view. It's more there is a big sign there. I might remove it. <laughs> I like that there is a view on, on the trees. The trees are very pretty there. So that's the plan for now. I'm thinking at least four bedrooms, maybe more. Maybe one of them is going to be sort of a dormitory because uh, it's an inn more than a hotel. Well, it's in a hotel. Oh, mm. <laughs> a bit like what is in Charlie Sims, I think. It's sort of a... Ooh, is it Tudor-ish? The one in Charlie Sims? I might, I might have a look at it. This is the main plan. Might change. We'll see. Let's let's get into it. Another quite long episode here. So, uh, ye old Tudor went with the Tudor style. Well, the classical one I have in mind with the half timbered uh, walls. What I did with the structure is that I've kept mostly the, the footprint of the, the house as it was, except for at the back, I did uh, the deck, so it's tidy from that. And also later, I've added a basement. But mostly the structure is the same. 
I mean, the, the footprint itself is the same. The structure is a tad different because I've uh, pulled forward the second floor so that it's a bit ahead, like one time ahead uh, compared to the, to the first floor. And uh, it's sort of a overhanging of <laughs> the, the, the part of the, the, of the first floor. And that was the style I had in mind when I was thinking to door that the, there is the upper floors are a bit ahead like that. So that's what I did with the front side and the back side of the building. Didn't do that on the side sides because <laughs> because uh, one of the side is quite close to the edge of the of the of the property of the of the lot, so wasn't possible. So on the other side there is that big chimney. Um, so I made it bigger, I think. Or uh, yeah, I think it wasn't build around the, the chimney, so I did that. I also have put columns there so that it would look like there is there are like three chimney stacks there. And, and yeah. So the roof, I've worked quite a bit on it too, and it's a split level, so it's a bit weird when playing it because one part is I've put a level skip marker um, on the what would be considered the third floor to so the fourth floor in the attic itself but it, it, I'll show you a bit later but it's a uh, yeah, it's, it's that weird it's that weird but it's not meant to be played in not really well you can still remove the level skip marker the marker uh, if needed but here linking the two together uh, it's the, the, the seams can go there, they can go to both levels, but one of them is hidden. So, in the, the other one is an apartment for, I would say, the owner or the staff of uh, working there, working in that hotel. And in the split level, there is a bedroom too, and an all in one bathroom. So, oh, the only one bathroom, I'm not sure it's such a great idea, maybe uh, might be needed to be, to be changed, to be switched with something else because I think they attract people <laughs> that uh, there seems they, they want to go there instead of going to a regular bathroom. Though I've locked the door uh, leading to that, to that uh, part of the house, so maybe they won't try to go there. I'm not sure because it's quite expensive the all-in-one bathroom so I think they are the more expensive the item the more they tend to go to that item instead of another one default one for instance so here um, adding a basement so the basement could be turned into uh, uh, something else for the hotel other rooms like an extend an extension of the, uh, of, the of the inn uh, but uh, for now, it's just rooms for the staff. Like it's a maintenance room, and the other one is a laundry. So, oh, also, yeah, that protruding bit I added uh, a protruding part <laughs> under it, so that there is also that bay window for the first floor. Um, did not add a foundation there. So it doesn't actually change the, the footprint of the house in that part there. Um, so yeah, the, the basement is just for the staff, but it could be it could be turned into more rooms and an extension for the public areas of the of the of the inn. Uh, so there are two entrances for the for the basement and both are single doors but they could be one could be replaced by an archway if uh, that part is accessible to the to the visitors and that's the one that opens into the living room 
uh, corner, the lounge corner, and that one could be in the entry to the basement, and then in the basement that could be, for instance, a swimming pool, why not? Uh, if you want to turn it into a resort, I didn't want to, <laughs> so I've, um, I've just put um, stuff for the staff downstairs. So here, tackling the lobby, the bar, restaurant uh, corner for the hotel. So um, I've tried to keep the idea of the island corners, the bar corners, um, around the, that, the wall that, we, that they, they were like that in the, in the kitchen corner. But since I've done, I've uh, <laughs> cut the, that part actually, I've put a wall there so that there is a real kitchen. Or a real kitchen. Every time I say a real something in the Sims, it, it sounds weird. But I mean that the, the kitchen is uh, closed off. And so I've tried to extend that idea so that there is a sort of wrap around bar area, which is not a bar because there is a, a bar. But you know what I mean? <laughs> Hopefully you do. And also, I've added um, two buffet tables from the resort catalog. So now, now the ones where you can decide the quality of the food, it's a good quality, and what type of food there. And um, so the bar area where there is going to be a bartender there. Oh, that corner here has the lounge chairs. Just, just that. I, I haven't done much there. And then a coffee machine is accessible in, in, in that room. Uh, I've removed there the, the microwave. There is one in the, in the kitchen, but not in that part of the inn. And also uh, I worked a bit more on the uh, reception desk corner. So that door here leads to the basement. So then went back outside to work some more on the front facade to put earnings everywhere. Uh, a sign, so that sign is from Supernatural and I like the style, <laughs> I thought it fitted um, the, the building there. And also we arranged a bit the, the plants. So placing the adventure board. Oh yes, I forgot to mention that. Uh, so when I exported the lot, I did not have the um, the possibility to to export it as a base camp. I'm not sure how you export a base camp if you can, but yeah, I could not. So I turned it into a hangout. Uh, and it can be turned back into a base camp uh, once in game. In the safe fight, I won't have the issue because it's the safe fight, so it's going to be a base camp already. And uh, but yeah, if you want to play it as a base camp and download the and you just downloaded the the lot, you will need to turn it back into into one. And you might need a traveler to do that. I know it's a mod by Enraz, by Twyland, and uh, it's on Enraz, so I'll, I'll link it in, in the description box below the video. Then uh, the kitchen, so the kitchen is is um, in the description of the of the lot, so it's, it's talked about in the description of the lot. So I've tried to make it quite modern and with all the, the best uh, things <laughs> there. Uh, it's not as big as it, as it used to be, um, but try to make it easily um, so that it's easy to work in that kitchen and they are not bumping in if there are different cooks, they are not bumping into each other, each can have their own space to work on. So that's what the idea with that central island. And they can go around it and the different uh, workspaces 
So not as big, but hopefully still a, a chef's delight. Also, since it's a community lot and a restaurant, uh, well, a hotel, the ovens I've put there can easily be replaced by the one from the store. What's the name? Uh, bistro as usual, or something like that. The bistro set with the, the premium um, oven there, the premium stove. And the menus can be placed on the tables, extra. And on the counters, that work too. And, um, and the animator. Fantastic mode where you have also a, a wear or wet dress there. So it, yeah, you, you can you can use that there. Um, then uh, the lounge, so the lounge area, and the, the living room area. Um, don't change that much. It's not that big. Uh, just put. So put. I, I was thinking it's a hotel, so maybe there might be like conferences there, <laughs> but. Not big ones. If they have, they have want to do a big conference, they, they can go to the art gallery or another community lot here. It's just to, if there is, a, then let's say a, a, a talk. Uh, there, I've put a TV behind the the the. Oh, what's oh, shoot? I don't have the, the not the pedestal. What's it called? Um, the. Uh, well, this thingy with the microphone on it. So I've put a TV behind it so that when they are sitting down, we can pretend they are listening to the, the person talking, but they are actually watching TV, for instance. So, uh, where else in that drawing room? I don't remember. Oh, yeah, I've put the, uh, the shuffleboard. Uh, and most put uh, a pool table. But it was too big. And there is also, I think, a computer and a few bookcases there. So then tackled the bedrooms. So for the bedrooms, went with the same uh, textures, but with different color scheme, uh, depending on the bedroom. And the two first bedrooms are this, almost the same one. Uh, they are very similar, and the same bed. Um, just the color scheme changing and also the artwork on the walls and I guess the view, the view is different from, a bit different from each room um, and each bedroom has a mini fridge, an alarm clock, a, a small TV, the one mounted on the, on the wall and a street bathroom. So for the three first ones I've put the same bathtub um, shower combo and the the two first ones are similar ones uh, the third one is more I'd say more couple oriented I had in mind that maybe it could be the bridal suits suite you know where um, if there is a wedding party, uh, the, the bride and groom can have that suite there. And the bedroom itself, so it's a bit that different too. For all the bedrooms and all the rooms, I went with a bit of a mountain lodge vibe. Um, that was because of the look of the, the original look of the lot. It was very cabin-like. And so I went with that, with that idea. And so that's why I've picked the, the, the those pieces of furniture, the, the, the texture to the, the, the wooden boards, the the headboard of the beds are usually also uh, I've used wood there too. And the texture on the bed, like the oh um, that one, that, how do you call that? Oh, gosh. <laughs> the, the covers, the, the blanket, no, the blanket. Um, yeah, it's the bed covers, the bed cover. Let's go with that. <laughs> I went with a, a, a bit of a winter um, themed pattern or 
at least a bit mountain like um, since it's I think it's those are in this on, on the pattern uh, well it's it's the it's the it's the that fabric I've used on all it sounds as if it, I made them from scratch, but nope, just clicked on it. And so yeah, it's the one I've, I've used. Uh, there are there is the same one on all the beds. It's just that different colors there. Um, for the last uh, bedroom, uh, so there are only four bedrooms, but I think it's enough because the seems they don't need to be that they don't. It doesn't need to be. A huge in there won't be that many seams in, in it anyway so this one is more of a, either a family room or um, well it's also in our suite but more for a family or a dormitory um, and on, in this one I've used well the pattern on the bed the original pattern on the bed was a cow print and so I've used it but on the on the walls so I went with it for for the to to keep something from uh, from the original uh, room and the bathroom is big so it was big enough to have a bathtub and a shower so I'm both there and then also um, two sinks in that one too so there can be several seams brushing their teeth at the same time then that's it for the bedrooms for the, for the in part uh, but i'm going to add two more bedrooms so they're, they're in the attic and they are uh, for the staff one of them is as i've said before in the in the in the area in in the for on the fourth floor, but in the part where I put a level skip marker, because there, there is a skip level up there, so it's not really visible uh, like that. But if a sim goes there, um, you can actually zoom in on the sim, and then you are in that um, on that level. So then, here I was um, trying to do something with um, with that square that was in the back of the of the building. So that, that there were tiles there, and I replayed them by a small garden and uh, made it kind of a herb garden. <laughs> uh, not really. I don't think I've put vegetables per se. More like plants. I've tried to put plants. I'm also. A few mushrooms so it's a mix of plants from supernatural and from university life and yeah I don't think I've put vegetables there at all or fruits no trees no harvestable trees tree there a um, couple of spawners and then I tackled the uh, garage so it's a two-car garage as said in the description i've kept the the, the lot the log uh, look <laughs> and uh, made a small um, covered uh, area for for the the wood for the firewood there oh and in that backyard there's also the horseshoe game um, just because it look, looked mountainy for me to me, <laughs> so I put it in there. I have no special reason. Uh, also, it, it 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 could it could fit, so that's why. Uh, in in the garage, so there are two uh, parking spaces. Also, uh, put a few bike racks there. And, oh, and the archways to, to um, get in the. Uh, small garden, the herb garden area. Uh, these are actually um, the wedding archways so from generations, and they work like regular ones <laughs> if uh, if um, you don't use them as uh, wedding arches. The, the, the sims can go through, walk 
uh, under them as if it's just there to to as a dressing. So then in the basement, so did uh, two rooms there. So that's the laundry. Another one is a maintenance room. Also there is a hallway area, and that hallway area is a bit more um, shelves. So a shelving unit, uh, a foot, a few shelving units there that are actually bookcases, and I put stuff on them, on top of them, <laughs> to pretend that they are storing stuff there. Um, so there might be small appliances, microwaves, or uh, the blenders, uh, you know, stuff like that. And uh, yeah, so these can, oh, and wine, uh, well, wine, nectar racks too, I call it, no? four of them, four of them. And uh, yeah, that's about it for the basement. And as I've said earlier, um, it can be turned into something else. So here, just, just because I had space there and I thought that maybe I'm going to change my mind there <laughs> and I'll come back to the lot and it's already there is already a basement there so it can be changed into something else. The finishing line I don't remember if I've put footage of the, the attic of making the making of the attic. Uh, I don't think so. Mostly I've readjusted adjusted a few things and then uh, tackled the attic. So I've, I've, I've done um, an apartment there and uh, plus a, a room for another seam to live there too. So that's it for that makeover. Uh, here is the tour of the finished lot as a base camp.
So overview of the lot with uh, first the garage here, the small garden over there with different plants, harvestable plants, then back to the front of the building, the front porch, the lobby area, reception desk, the lounge, the deck in the back with two doors. This one leads to that lounging area, the cafe area, restaurant area, the kitchen here, a bathroom, common bathroom. Then here access to the basement with two rooms, so the laundry and a maintenance room here. Then back on the first floor and then the second floor. The landing here, the first bedroom with ensuite bathroom, second bedroom, ensuite bathroom. Those two are similar. Then the third bedroom with its ensuite bathroom there. And the big uh, family bedroom with ensuite bathroom, a bathtub and a shower. Access here to the attic, leading to the attic. So there is a bedroom there. It's hidden in the skip level but here is the apartment a uh, living room bedroom and bathroom so that's it for that renovation i've uh, th there might be uh, we might go back to it in a future episode because i'm thinking of changing its location i've got an idea or oh, maybe maybe not we'll see in a future episode um, but yeah, that's it for this one. I'll see you in the next video. A bientôt!